Hello and welcome to my tutorial about compiling VCB rack from sources. We have a look at, uh, at the exact instruction that come on the VCB rack uh, website and GitHub uh, repository. The first thing you have to do is to install MSIY S2. It's just a simple matter of downloading the software and installing. Just make sure you download the 64 bits and not the 32 bits. So just click install next 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 and wait a bit it's just a very simple process of installing uh, a piece of software just have to wait some more and there you go you have uh, your console installed just make sure you launch the 64 bit and not the 32 bits then you have to create a folder where to put the VCB rack? Let's put it in C, on C drive and call it VCB. Then you go into the, your console and you simply type cd slash c, and then you install all the other requirements. Then simply copy the URL and type git, git clone and paste the address. And just wait a little bit. It shouldn't take about more than about 30 seconds that's it then you have to um, update all the sub modules so copy and paste again this command which is git sub module update init and recursive of course you have to cd into rack before doing that sorry for the mistake then just wait a little bit for all the sub modules and extension needed to compile that's it and then you can make the, all the dependencies by typing make dep and then be prepared to wait because you have to wait some good time because he has to download lots of stuff and do decompress, install everything and make them. So we just wait and wait and wait and wait some more. It can take uh, up to half an hour maybe. Okay, we are nearly reaching the end. So just wait a little bit more until you see a confirmation message that says that everything has been compiled and downloaded uh, and built correctly. Okay, that's it. This is a, a successfully building confirmation message. And then you can type make to make rack. So simply type make and press enter and just be prepared to wait a bit more. It shouldn't take really long, so maybe about one or two minutes maximum. And again, if you don't have any error messages you can then simply launch rack by typing make run and this will simply launch rack that's it